Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we're looking at the third grade concept of data, specifically how we can use information in different types of graphs to solve data problems, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So we see a very simple pictograph over here on the left of the number of apples sold in four months. And then we have a few questions. When we're looking at solving problems based on information on a pictograph or a bar graph, for the most part, we're just going to be combining them with addition, or we're going to be subtracting some by comparison, or maybe we'll do some combining and then some subtracting. Let's just go ahead and look at, at these real quick. So we've got one apple in January, and the biggest key is always going to be down here, making sure we understand what our key is, because once we have that, then let's just go ahead and put in numbers next to all of these amounts. So that January has 10 apples. February's got 10, 20, 30, 40. So we'll put 40 if you want to skip count by tens. Now March is a little bit different because it's got 10, 20, and then it's got half an apple. And so the only thing we don't know, I'm going to draw a little half apple right here. We need to take half of 10. So that's going to equal 5. So that's going to be 25. So we'll put that as 25 right there. And then March, or March is 25, April is 20. That's pretty simple. Once you've labeled your pictograph with the numbers, then it's going to be pretty simple. How many apples were sold in February and March? So we're going to combine February and March. So that's going to be 40 plus 25. And that's going to get me 65. So once you label it, the addition is very simple. How many more? Oh, that lets me know we're going to compare. We're going to subtract. Apples were sold in January and February, then in March and April. So this is a multi-step problem. We're gonna to have to add up January and February. So January and February, that is 10 plus 40. Add that up, and then we're gonna compare that, take away March and April. So March is 25, and April is 20. And so we need to do the addition first. So let's do 10 plus 40. That's going to be 50. And then 25 and 20 is going to be 45. So look at that. It's just barely five more. So that's probably the toughest type of problem you'll see with a pictograph is having to add two different chunks and then subtract the two. And then how many apples were sold in all four months? Well, that's just going to be... 10, I'll do this vertically, 40, 25, 20, so my answer is going to be 5, let's see, 5, 95, so it looks like I've got 95, let's look at a bar graph, so here we have a bar graph, or a bar chart, and it shows four different superheroes, Batman, and Iron Man, Superman, and Mr. Incredible, and how many students voted for which one was their favorite? So you see we have our scale over here on the left. It runs from 0 to 20. But what's going to be important is to notice the interval. That's the space in between each of these numbers. And we don't count by 1s, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to count by 4s, 4, 8, 12, 16. So our interval is 4. And that's going to be important when we try to put numbers on each of these bars. Because so look at this first one, Batman. Batman is right there in between your 16 and your 20. And so you've got to find a number that's right in between 16 and 20. And there's three numbers in between, 17, 18, 19. But 18 is right in the middle. How do I know that? Well, the interval is 4. So if I take half of that interval, so that's going to be 2. So if I were to go plus 2 up from 16, I would get my 18 right there. Iron Man, right on the line, that's 16. Same thing with Superman, though. we got a problem. It's in between the 8 and the 12. So what's right in between 8 and 12? That's going to be 10. I'm not sure. I could take my half interval, which is 2, add that up to my bottom number, 8. That's going to get me 10. And then finally, Mr. Incredible is on the line. So solving these problems becomes pretty simple. How many more students voted for Batman than Superman? Well, that's going to be 18 minus 10. That's 8. Finally, if we add up Iron Man, Superman, and Mr. Incredible, we get 34.